Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be explaining the difference between a block level item and an inline item. Now, we're going to show you what the difference is and what it means uh, when you're placing elements in your HTML. So check it out. Let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we talked a little bit about structure and how we're using different elements to do different things, despite not having any sort of initial styles, like the main element doesn't really provide any sort of initial styles, like in terms of font size or things like that, like you have with maybe an input or an, a header element or something like that. However, there is an important distinction. So let's head to our website. I'm going to right click inspect this element. And you'll remember I said there was basically no built in properties. However, if you remember, you select main, you see that we have display block. And you might be wondering, well, what is display block and what does it have to do with this main element? Well, the two polar opposites in terms of display are display block and display inline. So display block, you'll notice all of these uh, header, main, footer, these all get display block along with a header tag like h1 and a paragraph tag, this paragraph tag here. They're all block level elements. Now in HTML, you have two types of elements. You have a block level element and an inline element. Now block elements are going to take up the full width they're going to be able to set a width and height on. So we could actually say uh, width is 80% uh, or something, and this block level item will obey that. And you can have margin top and bottom, left, right, and padding all the way around as well. Now, inline elements by default do not take up any sort of width. And in fact, you cannot assign them a width. So an inline element might be a span tag. So we can have a span tag to our build websites and we can say span like so, and then close this off around the B, okay, around the build there. So we now have a span tag here. And if we refresh, you'll see nothing crazy, nothing's changed at all. If we select span, you can see that it is display inline here. It's inherited that. But what it's not doing is it's not taking up any sort of width. If we were to come here and click on this element style, we can give this some temporary styles and we can say display block. Now what you'll notice is that automatically it's taken up the full width and it is uh, now separating these two paragraph tags. When I remove this display block, you can see it's definitely in line again. Now, what kind of things can we do to display block that we can't do to inline? Well, we can't add a width. If I were to say width 100%, it's not going to be taking up 100%. It's in fact, it's not going to change at all. And we can't actually set a height and we can't give it a margin top and bottom. If we were to say margin hyphen top, and then say 10 pixels, you can see that just by hovering over it, we don't get any sort of margin at all like we do with the H2. By the way, in this inspect element view, when you hover over an element in your browser, you can see the orange lines uh, above and below the blue selected element. Well, those are actually the margins. So if you see over in the bottom right over here, you can see that we have the margins right here and we have border, padding, and then the element itself. So as you can see, padding will be green, border is going to be yellow, and margin is going to be this orange color. Now we'll get into a little bit on when to use margin and when to use padding in a little bit, but all you need to know right now about display inline versus display inline block is for block level elements are things that need to take up the whole space and need to have margin, width, height, that sort of stuff applied to them. And inline displayed elements are going to be elements that are going to be styled inline with your content. Like we can take this and even though we can apply a width margin top to it, we can say color red and you can see just the text within the span is getting a mark, is getting the color red. So if you want to affect something inline, you can always wrap it in a span. Now, what other display inline tags are there? Well, well, the basic display block tags are things that we've come across like paragraphs and headings. We have these mains form tags, header, uh, any sort of div, unordered lists, list, uh, unordered lists, 
uh, that sort of stuff are all going to be display block by default. However, you can certainly change them if you'd like. For instance, we can come in here and say display inline on our uh, H2, and you can see it no longer takes up the entire width, but since it's sandwiched in between block level items, nothing's going to come up on the line with it. But as you can see, it's, it's no longer taking up the whole width, just the width of the text here. So we have display in line. But as far as elements that are display in line by default, most common ones are things like an anchor tag that links to another page, a span tag like this one that just allows you to sort of wrap certain pieces of text to style them. Um, things like an EM, which is an emphasis tag, which you can use to make things italicized. And pretty much anything that you're just using to style a group of text. Now, the ones that you're going to be coming across most often are the anchor tag and the span tag. Uh, other than that, by default and in, uh, display inline elements, you won't see as much. So this is display inline and this is display block. I hope that clears up the difference for you. In the next video, we're going to start talking about how to identify pieces of our content in our HTML using an ID. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.